Dajiahao. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today for another episode of Growing Up with Chinese, Cheng Zhang Hanyu. We covered a decent bit of ground last class between learning various ways to say thank you, like 谢谢，谢谢你，谢谢您 and you're welcome. 不客气，不用谢，不谢 Today we're going to be focusing on introductions, specifically how to ask for someone's name and how to respond when someone asks you what your name is. Now, so far, Mike and Xiaoming have yet to meet each other. We left off last show with Xiaoming and his teacher going upstairs in the elevator. Now, let's check out what happens when the two of them come face to face. Xiaoming, hello. Teacher, hello. You hello. 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 That certainly was a good review of the ways to say hello. Now, not only did we just see Mike and Xiaoming meet each other, but we also got to indirectly meet Xiaoming's parents. Now, did you all catch Mike and Xiaoming's introductions? Let's take a closer look at what they said. 你叫什么名字 What's your name? We all know 你 is you. 叫 is a verb. It means call or to be called. 什么 is what, and 名字 is name. 你叫什么名字 What's your name? 你叫什么名字 All right, moving on. The response to 你叫什么名字 is 我叫 and a name. 我 is I or me. 叫 again means call or called. So 我叫 is I'm called. 我叫 Charlotte. My name is Charlotte. I'm called Charlotte. 你叫什么名字 Your response should be 我叫 and your name. 你们好。你好。你好，我叫小明。你叫什么名字？我叫 Mike。你姓什么 ？Okay. The key word in this question is 姓。姓 means surname or family name, last name. 你 we've covered. It means you. And 什么 what? So, 你姓什么 means what's your surname? What's your family name? 你姓什么？小明，你姓什么？我姓王。哦，王小明。All right, let's review the clip again. 你好，老师好。你们好。你好。你好，我叫小明，你叫什么名字？我叫麦，小明，你姓什么？我姓王。哦，王小明。叔叔阿姨，你们好。麦克，你多大了？阿姨，我十六岁。
。小明，你呢？我也十六岁。Okay, it's time to check out today's vocabulary. Last time we went over initials in Pinyin. Today we're going to take a look at finals. Now, depending on how you calculate them, there are anywhere from 29 to 37 finals. It's a lot, I know, but you can think of it this way: there are more ways to spell things in English, right? So this won't be too bad. And first, we'll take a look at some similar pronunciations. The A, as in father, a Chinese example would be 爸爸。Mama, ta. The O in or, a Chinese example would be mo, bo, po. You also have the U sound, as in you, the word you. A Chinese example would be lu, mu, tu. Now, some finals have different pronunciations depending on the initials that they're coupled with. So let's take a look at these. Because these have a tendency to be tricky. Take I for example, coupled with B D J L M N P Q T X and Y, you get the E sound, like D, G, C, and E. Now, if it's coupled with S, C, and Z, you get the Hmm. This is a little bit tricky. It's sort of uh sound, like kind of like when you see something gross, like s, s, z. Now coupled with r, z h, s h, or c h, you get the e r sound, as in her. So e r z. Shi, shi. Now another final with differing sounds depending on its initial is e. The letter e. Now coupled with d t n l g k h c s z c h z h and r, you get the uh sound, sort of like u g h uh. Now, when e is coupled with, whoops, there we go. Y, you get the y、e、sound. So think of it as an i e h sound. Yeah, yeah. That's how you use it. Now e can also stand on its own. When it does, its pronunciation is like the. E in d or k or j, that's e on its own. All right. One final that can give some people problems in pronunciation is this. Now, it's a U with two dots. The umlaut. Now, if you speak, say German, for example. This sound might come a little bit easier to you, as I know the German language, as well as some other languages, have this sound. You have to be willing to purse your lips. It's u, the u sound. So, lü, nü, u. It's a little tricky, I know, but with practice, you'll get it in no time. So that was our pinyin coverage for the day. Let's take a look at some specific vocabulary words. 我爱我叫 to call called 叫姓 surname 姓什么 what 什么名字 name. 名字，也 ，also， 也，老师 ，teacher， 老师，阿姨 ，aunt， 阿姨，叔叔 ，uncle， 叔叔。
Did any of you notice that when Xiaoming told Mike his name, he started with his surname and then gave his name? In China, the way people say names as well as write names is always surname first, then name. It's the exact opposite of how names are usually done in Western cultures. In the United States, I would say my name is Charlotte McInnes, or sometimes I might just say Charlotte and not even give my last name. In China, I would either be McInnes Charlotte or just McInnes. It's exactly opposite. Now to take this a step bigger, think of how we address a letter in Western cultures. The first line is the person's name. The second line is either the building name and number or the street address. The third line is city and state or province. And the fourth line, last line, is the country. In China, you start with the country and city on the top line. The second line is the street address. And third line is building in any relevant numbers. And finally, the last line, the line at the very bottom, is the person's name. Again, it's exactly opposite. Now, getting back to names, it might have sounded funny to some of you to see Xiaoming introduce himself to Mike by using his last name first. But in China, this is how it's done. Now, perhaps some of you call your teachers at school by their first names. In China, a teacher is always addressed by his or her last name. If your teacher's name is Wang, you call him Wang Lao Shi or Wang Teacher, Teacher Wang. If her last name was Zhou, again, you would call her Zhou Lao Shi. All right, so that wraps up our cultural spotlight for the day. Now, before we say goodbye, let's take a quick look at some language points. We all know that Xiaoming's surname is Wang. Did you all catch what he said, though? He said, Ni hao, wo xing Wang, jiao Wang Xiaoming. Hello, my surname is Wang. I'm called Wang Xiaoming. Wo xing Wang or 我叫 Mike. Do you see the sentence pattern here? Xing is the verb in this pattern. My surname is Wang. 我姓王. I'm called Mike. My name is Mike. 我叫 Mike. Now, you can take your cue on how to reply to this question from the question. 你叫什么名字? 我叫 Mike. 你姓什么？我姓王。你好，我姓张。你好，我姓王。你叫什么名字？我叫小刚。We have a tone alert today. The m in 什么 is a neutral tone, otherwise known as 轻声。什么？什么？Now 什么 is a very useful word to know. I mean, think of how often we use the word what in English. 什么？妈妈，今天晚上吃什么？西红柿、茄子和米饭。兰兰，你干什么呢？我在写作业啊。And there we are. 现在几点了？Hmm. We've just about run out of time today, but before I say 再见, I'd like to read a letter that has come in, and it's from Alyssa in England. Are there any other colors in China with specific meanings? All right, well, we covered red, white, and yellow. And to be honest, these are the three main colors in China that have uh, expanded meanings behind them. Although, I will bring this up. In English, you know how we say green with envy? Someone can be green with envy, they're very envious. Well, in Chinese, it's Hongyanbing which means red eye disease. That's how they say green with envy. So I hope that was helpful. Don't forget to visit our website and please keep sending in your questions and comments. I hope you all had fun today. 加油! Same word. 再见!